Well, good afternoon, my YouTube friends. It's Margaret again from Emmy's Orchids, and I brought you into the grow room. It's very humid in here today, and uh, it's eight eighty-eight percent humidity and twenty-five point seven C uh, for the temperature. And uh, this little um, well, it's not little, is it? This Dendrobium implicatile, uh, the one that I said. Uh, was due to open yesterday. Well, I just had the bud yesterday, didn't I? And you can see by my thumbnail, she's only very tiny. And she's got this lovely, very unusual, furry, well, it's wavy, isn't it? Lip. And of course, she's upside down. And uh, some are easier to um, video. And some aren't. It's. Um, She's that, the flowers are that small, like I say, that's the thumbnail and that's the size. And uh, she's got an unusual fragrance. Let's find the other one. Oh, there's the other one. Now let me just sit down and I'll catch this other one. Because this one's upside down here. And uh, there we go. There we go. Very, very unusual. Excuse me, that's the table making a noise. So, um, how many more she's going to uh, produce, I don't know, but um, she's got this new cane. She's got this new cane here. And uh, this is one that's grown since I've had her and uh, she's doing extremely well. She's got a new growth coming out there. So uh, I'll just put her down here for the moment. And uh, this one is um, the uh, Gatton Sun Ray. And this one's been fed. This is a uh, a new cane here, and uh, it's a little bit crinkled because I think it's sometimes it gets swamped with these other these other leaves. But just looking at her now, uh, I mean she's got. Um, I'm looking if she's got any new growth. Well, that's the one that's grown in. Uh, in my care and uh, she's got something down there but I don't think that's going to develop into anything and uh, I was just having a, having a, lot at, a look at her and I'll, I'll just stand up and then uh, I'll be able to show you. Now where did I see it? Which leaf did I see it on? I've seen it on a couple of leaves. There, can you see? And uh, and on here as well. And I thought, oh goodness gracious, what's that? Because those are like scale. And uh, maybe it's this one up here. Let's look at this one here. Let's see. Well, they're like whether they're old. I'm not too sure. It's funny how I've only just noticed them now. Let's see. But I've looked under the leaves. I've looked for the telltale signs. And uh, I don't like to scratch too hard because if I scratch too hard. Then I'm going to go through to the uh, damage the membrane of the uh, the actual orchid itself. So um, just looking at this, you see this one has um, is inclined to have its leaves. I thought that was one then. So oh, goodness gracious, but it isn't. You see, it's had a little bit of sun damage, 
and it's got this terrible habit of twisting its leaves. Let's have a look under there. Tell you, if you've once ever had scale, you're always on the outlook for it. But I think actually, it's a very healthy looking plant. And even though I've scratched at those, I don't want to, like I say, I don't want to scratch any more. And it's, uh, it's had some um, seaweed extract yesterday. It's got some wonderful new roots going down into that um, lava rock. And I'll, whoops. I'll just move this one up here now. I'll just be careful because some of them. I've still got a little bit of residue of the feed from yesterday. And let's have a look what this one is. I think this is Chrysotoxum. And uh, what I wanted to, to do, I'll just take this card out now. Yeah, there we go. This is doing very, very well. Now this this absolutely has to be watered ever such a lot and you see that new growth there there I need that new growth to come upwards so I'm just placing that there this little card's been ever so useful and uh, can you see it now so now that will make its way up and over the top of this uh, open basket here. And let's have a look. So uh, it's got some lovely leaves. And these are the, the newest growth, these two here. And uh, it has these sheaths on. I don't like the sheaths, I like to get I like to get rid of the sheaths because I never know what they what they're hiding in there, although you've got to be very careful you don't actually damage. The pseudobulb itself. Oh, that's nice. Cut it off. And uh, that got a little bit of, I thought that was sun damage, but I think it's water damage. And I can always, always tell this one. Can you see how the how the, how the leaves get tight together and that's a big indicator to me that um, this one even though it's watered just today it takes an awful lot of um, there we go it takes an awful lot of water this one does and uh, the gravel rock sorry the lava rock um, it just runs through the lava rock but she's got a lovely two new growths there. This one coming out here, and uh, hopefully um, next time um, we might have some blooms. So let me just bring another one down now and uh, just show you. I have to be organised when I sit here because um, otherwise I'm toing and froing. This little one here is the uh, Polynopsis hieroglyphica. And this is the one that I've um, put some sphagnum moss and uh, it's in this little basket here. And this was uh, fed with that seaweed extract yesterday and it's got a new leaf there. So this one has struggled and now it's coming back into full recovery. Of course it doesn't uh, hang there, uh, it hangs on the, uh, on the windowsill. And uh, this is um, Pamela Hetherington. This is the uh, that new growth there. That's 
found its way above this ridge and if you look down there it's got lots and lots of new active roots and uh, they're even coming out at the side there So that's that one. This one here is the uh, Pastoral Innocent. And uh, this big root here, and she sent some big roots down, but these side roots here, they don't seem to be as large. Now whether I'm not giving you quite enough moisture, I don't know, there's that new growth and that's found its way up over the slip, so that's fine. And of course this was very badly affected last year with scale, so to have a new growth and for it to produce those roots, um, I'm so pleased. That one just on there. This one here is the Lelia. And uh, this one's just going mad. Absolutely. Sending roots out everywhere. It's got that new growth there. All those roots that were bitten off, it sent um, secondary roots. And they've found their way down. And if they've not found their way down, they've gone down underneath there. And underneath they're starting to come out underneath. So I was, I was actually panicking, thinking I wonder whether I should transfer it into a bigger basket. But I've got a bigger basket, but what I'll do next year, um, depending on how much she grows, I can always then just sit this basket in the top of another basket. So there will be plenty of room for that. And let me have a look what else we've got to show you. This is the, uh, I have to be careful with this one, this is the macrophyllum, you remember that one there, it's got a new growth hasn't it, and a little green tip there, well that, that green tip was where I knocked the other new growth off, so I'm hoping it might just be producing another new growth for me, and it's got that growth there. And it's got some little tiny roots, but this one does not like full light. It likes to be in the shade. And of course, I had this outside. See, that was that new leaf there, that new growth. And it hated it. Look at the colour. And I mean, she's been back in the grow room now for weeks, but it still didn't like it. So you do have to listen. You have to listen to your orchids. Now I'm just going to back up a little bit now and uh, there we go. It's like a sauna in here. So if I can manoeuvre this little seating thing here so I don't break my neck. And then, sorry about that, I'm going out of focus. Um, That there is, um, let me have a look, there we go, and uh, this was fed yesterday, and those roots, just love it. I've taken some of the uh, um, fishing line off because it doesn't really need it now. And uh, this is the the one that's got the, the new growth behind it, and I think that's BLC 24 carat gold. So that's that, that new growth. And uh, me back and lift this one down. That's the the big white fowl that. Um, I've waited this for three years for this plant to flower and uh, but I've had to I've had to bring her back into bark and sphagnum moss 
he wasn't very happy at all. And uh, let's have a look what else is happening around here. We've just got lots and lots of active roots. And uh, there's the Thunia bensonii with that new growth there. These are the small cat layers, the miniatures, and they seem to be doing fine. This is the one that I have trouble with scale with, so I've just I do have to keep my eye on that. And this little one here, well, there's two, isn't there? These are the cakes of the um, uh, Dendrobium phaedrixianum, and I've put them in some sphagnum moss with just a little bit of lava rock just to, to anchor them down. And if I bring this one over here now, without going out of focus, this is the big white fowl. This is one of the three sisters. Just starting to fade again. But uh, we just can't pass her by. And this is the Patheo Pedlum. Um, the one I'm bringing back from the brink. And when I say to you about the sphagnum moss, I've got to be so careful. See that root there? Just gently put it there. But I have see now it just, I've got to be so careful because it, if you're not careful, for some reason it rots these bottom leaves. And I mean she's got a new leaf there. And she's very healthy now. All these leaves are quite firm, um, but I do, I am inclined to be vigilant with this one especially. Now what else can I show you? That's any different. Just bear with me a minute. I'll just turn you around and hope I don't actually take you out of focus. This is a Phalaenopsis, this is an OID, and this is my second reblooming. And I transferred this one over into this pot here, and back into bark, because she was in one of those vases. And uh, she's just hanging there. Absolutely loves it. And uh, everything else is doing wonderful. So I think I'm going to uh, finish filming now because uh, I'm going to go outside into the garden. Um, we've got another hot day tomorrow. And, uh, and then we're going to go into cooler conditions. Can you see in there? That's the uh, the buds for next year. Yes, we're going to go into cooler conditions, which we uh, which we're used to here in England, and probably around about twenty degrees C. I mean, it's going to be a shock because we've had these um, high temperatures for months now, and uh, watched one of Roger's videos this morning, and a lot of his blooms have struggled because of the heat. Um, I'm very lucky here because uh, my uh, orchids are in this, as I call it, the orchid room, but it's the third bedroom and we've got, we're self-facing so we've got plenty of light and uh, we've got the extractor, well, we've got a house, an oscillating fan, uh, we've got a fan that just um, has got two speeds and then we can open the windows. So. Um, I've been very lucky so far in that uh, none of the blooms really have been affected that much. So I'll take my leave off you now. Um, it was very, very kind uh, to all my subscribers in my excitement yesterday. I sent out these vibes and they all come back and I could sense that they, they were with me with all my excitement. <laughs> Oh dear me, but uh, I've come back down to earth today and uh, well you have to don't you? So thanks again to all my subscribers, to all my new subscribers as well 
Now take care, enjoy your orchids and we'll speak another time. Bye bye now.